okay so good morning or good afternoon good afternoon how are you yeah i'm doing great thanks for asking please tell me ma'am about yourself also yes i'm doing well too okay yeah i feel a privilege to introduction to give introduction in front of you because nowadays you are very famous on youtube and <laughs> i am very um, much uh, inspired by your speaking thank so you i am telling about myself i am preeti and uh, i am a private school teacher basically i am from haryana but right now i am living in bahadurgarh that is near new delhi and uh, if i talk about my educational qualification i am an mba mba english and beard and uh, i have started my two youtube channel first is easy way to learn with priti that is my english channel i uh, in starting time i was uh, uh, i was uh, uploading videos related to ncert syllabus sometimes some grammar topics but from last two months i am doing this type of conversation and uh, another channel i uh, record memories of my life that is my entertaining channel easy way vlogs that's okay. all about me mm. so you are a vlogger do you vlog also uh, yes sometimes if i get chance like uh, if there is a special occasion only that time i make vlogs on reg not on regular basis mm. so you are a teacher you are a vlogger you have two channels oh that is quite hectic right I'm a, uh, I'm a I'm uh, a small YouTuber. <laughs> yes, <laughs> if I compare with you, yes, I'm very small YouTuber because I have only one point five three k subscriber, and um, you have I think eighteen k uh, yeah. subscriber. Yes, yeah. because on regular basis I watch your videos. Mm, yeah, because I upload every single day because that this is the only work that I'm doing. i'm not a teacher like you i do not have a, a full time job so i am doing youtube yeah i think uh, if you are a youtuber and uh, your channel is uh, smoothly working i think there is no need to do any other job yeah yeah <laughs> but it is different right you if you don't work the the money is fluctuating and you do not have uh, Uh, i don't know how to express it it is it is different than having a full time job when you have a full time job you feel kind of secure you get the same pay every time that doesn't happen with youtube youtube um uh, i think uh, i don't have that type of experience because till now i did not get any money uh, from youtube mm-hmm. side but uh, yes uh, you can say it's a lifelong process and uh, yeah um, we uh, never be retired on youtube but uh, yes if you are working somewhere uh, else like if you are a uh, private worker or any if you are on government job there is some uh, age limit and uh, time duration limit like you can work and sometimes uh, we feel very tired also if you are working somewhere like in i am a school teacher so in private school if you are working uh, for 30000 they are uh, uh, getting work Uh, above fifty thousand from your side, yes. It means uh, that is very uh, tiring and sometimes very hectic schedule in schools. We have not such time to even uh, sometimes to drink water. Oh, mm. every day you have to be stand there, yes, to give lecture. Because mm. now it's more fitting uh, schedule for teachers in school. Hmm. So, what age group of children do you teach? uh yeah i'm taking uh, tgt classes tgt english i'm taking okay so how's your experience how many uh, years of experience you told me i forgot um i have more than uh, 10 years you can say because i started my teaching journey as uh, when i was unmarried and right okay. now i have one son he is 13 years old oh so it is nice you did not give up on your career you didn't compromise you're managing both yeah continuously i'm working but uh, yes uh, um, uh, after marriage uh, like uh, there was one year gap when i uh, took birth uh, to my uh, son and mm. uh, six months when i got married so uh, except all this uh, uh, yes i was continue mm nice thing otherwise when you take a break it is difficult again for you to 
get back into work you don't have that energy and the dedication also the motivation also that i need to work that thing goes off so it is nice that you didn't take a long break and i think uh, we are um, we are habitual also to get this type yeah. of uh, tiring yeah. schedule and yeah, hectic schedule the so body is adjusted yes if we are uh, having uh, holidays long holidays we feel bored also at home mm yeah because you are so much used to go out every day go to your yes. school you miss doing that now i have sessions with people every day if i take a break 3 4 days even i feel the same so whom should i talk to i keep searching <laughs> so yeah it is normal and sometimes in between you are uh, uploading uh, solo, solo videos, videos. Yes, yes yes now That it is. is my children are all around it's summer vacation so every 10 15 minutes i get i write down script uh, when they're sleeping i write, write down my script i try to shoot that is easier but when conversations you need to give them time at this time i will be available so that time has become unpredictable for me i am not able to tell when i'll be alone when i will have time so yes. never i have one day today i have like two to three hours so i'm having back to back sessions so yes. like that <laughs> yes it happens with others because there are many tutors available like you and surbhi ma'am and some others also uh, who want to connect in morning time and uh, i am working in school so till 2:30 mm-hmm. i haven't time but yesterday is sunday even yesterday in evening uh, our uh, management our uh, principal ma'am uh, sent message to come to school early in the morning for 2 hours so mm-hmm. i was <laughs> just surprised mm-hmm. like today also i have no time mm-hmm. but, but sometimes yeah. do you do you feel fed up of going like work again it is a monday i don't want to go sometimes do you feel that um yes on sunday i am always free but yes it's uh, admission time is here that's why they uh, called only half staff members for 2 hours 3 hours uh, only for uh, documentary work hmm and some if some person gets into your profession if she, if she or he is a newcomer as a teacher so what kind of challenges will they face um i think they can be face different channel challenges like uh, first is environment because every uh, school and institution have different environment I, so till we are not be familiar with them so that is new for us and sometimes sometimes maybe uh, the colleagues the new staff members may be not sportive so that mm. can be a reason and uh, uh, sometimes maybe the language barrier like uh, uh, if you are not uh, not fluent because nowadays english is compulsory in each and every school <laughs> in every organization and especially if you are a language teacher so that time english is must for you and uh, as well as for others because nowadays uh, there are uh, invigilator like cameras working everywhere audio visual cameras <laughs> to observe oh. teachers talk <laughs> mm-hmm. so <laughs> and uh, uh another thing i think uh, sometimes we uh, have no uh, facility of uh, teaching aids like in some big sco- uh, schools audio visual uh, projector rooms are available but not in every school like uh, if you are working in a small school that time uh, you have no projector room no audio visual aids so uh, nowadays students are willing to learn everything through activities so uh, sometimes maybe it may be difficult but yes uh, i am working in a good school and uh, uh, from the starting time i am learning a lot of things uh, in each and every organization uh, now i am working in a school from last 4 years there and uh, but sometimes uh, we feel a different uh, nature of student like uh, some students are very egoist uh, mm-hmm. they are very arrogant nature they uh, they never feel shy and nervousness to speak in front of the teacher in a rudely mm. manner so that yeah. time we feel difficult mm. and when you are a parent it is easy for you you can shout at them or you can uh, you know <laughs> just uh, but when yes. you are a teacher you should be careful yes if you are a teacher and uh, you are working outside so i think that is uh, really difficult to handle students because uh, out of 30 40 students if uh, uh, one or two are uh, two students are very uh, 
notorious and uh, very mischievous so in that case you have to be patient uh, in front of students you can talk with that student because nowadays punishment are also not allowed yeah <laughs> you cannot send them outside the class you cannot beat yes. them you cannot even shout at them yes <laughs> so it's uh, like uh, without a uh, teacher a condition is like without hair yeah so yes. sometimes it's very difficult but yes if you have good experience you can easily handle like um, if you are a, already a mother because in uh, for freshers it may be difficult but if you have good experience you can easily handle the student because uh, um, a rude person and a, a well uh, what we can say notorious boy or girl you can handle with them only with love and uh, mm -hmm. so talk you can talk to him or her in a separate way in a in separate place you can first you will talk to them then you can uh, try to make them understand what they are doing only in that case they can be understand and sometimes they feel sorry also so mm. i that uh, yes that way mm. right and now you are teaching at a school then you are coming back home and you are having conversations also what motivates you to do all this isn't it difficult it, i think it is it's really tough uh, sometimes i uh, feel tired when i uh, return home but yes Uh, if i already uh, given the time to someone and uh, like if uh, i i am very willingly uh, uh, want to connect with you so if someone is giving time and telling about the availability of him or her so that mm -hmm. time i connect with them but yes uh, uh, after uh, returning home it's a uh, a little bit difficult for me because sometimes we bring home some school work also yeah. but uh the main purpose to uh, behind this type of conversation is to just influence to uh, like uh, i also want to be a fluent because my uh, in my vocabulary uh, the word limit is uh, limited as i consider because i don't have much time to uh, read more and more novel books and uh, story books also like uh, from your videos i get this idea you have to read more and more books but i don't have much time sometimes uh, i like to read books but uh, sometimes i don't have stuff of those books and uh, if i go time that time i just uh, took uh, my syllabus books my grammar books of students mm -hmm. right so mm. uh, uh, sometimes this question come in my mind like how, how we can uh, make the habit of reading uh, on every uh, regular basis see you can uh... choose time maybe like before sleeping or some time during the day 10 minutes mm. 10 minutes this is my reading time or maybe when you are in your staff room when you don't have mm. your class like that 10 minutes in a day in your lunch break if you have one hour lunch break half an hour lunch break try to eat in 20 minutes and the next 10 minutes read one page of a book like that slowly it will become habit and you have to choose something that you like since you like entertainment you can choose chetan bhagat novels they are like a love story drama that kind of um, genre so you will like reading them and once you like that book you you will become addicted you want to know what happens next so that that book only will bring you uh, like to to read the book so you will only find time i have to read one page i need read to like when you watch some serial which you really like you want to know what happened in the next episode like mm -hmm. that that kind of curiosity you should get when you are reading a book then automatically it will become a habit for you first you need to push yourself to at least start once you start mm -hmm. it will go on mm -hmm. because i heard from your uh, one of your videos like uh, you are very curious to uh, read one book if you have one book so you uh, never feel uh, free and uh, relax till then you are not completed that book <laughs> Yes, so, especially it happens with story books. Yes, I also like story books. So mm -hmm. now I'm thinking to purchase some story books. Yes, yes, you can. There are other. I like suspense, thriller, these kind of books also because this also will bring you back again and again to the book. You want to finish it. So these kind mm -hmm. of books, and I like uh, health, nutrition, diet. 
fitness yeah. these kind of books also but those books you just read in your free time they are not yeah. very curious you are not curious to finish it every now and then you can read it depends yeah. you have to choose what in interests you okay, okay then we will end the session here it was lovely talking to you so if time permits we will talk again okay i was very delighted to connect with you thank you so much thank you